another video. Today's video is going to be about love enhancements and bringing back lost lovers. Now, first off, I'm going to talk about love enhancement because that is totally different from bringing back someone, you know, who's broken up with you whatsoever, you know, left you whatsoever. Um, I definitely want to talk about this because there's, there's like guidelines to this, man. Well, you know, as a person that has been doing this for years and a person that basically used to do it for himself, I'm here to set the record straight because, man, I got so much experience with this aspect, man. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to brag whatsoever. Let's just talk about love enhancement at first. Love enhancement is basically when you're dealing with someone and the relationship's a little rocky, you know, you're not seeing eye to eye on things, you know, and it's like, you know, basically it's like there's conflict there, you know what I'm saying, you guys are not meshing well, let's just say the guy's not paying your attention or the female's not paying your attention, you know, so this is what, you know, I call an enhancement case, you know, because now you have to do something to basically bring you know to spice up the relationship to give it some type of okay some type of uh moisture or tenderness you know you know we guys tend to be like man fuck this shit man you know whatever i don't give you know i don't care this and that you know blah blah, blah you know and that itself is something that women do not like or women you know women can talk fucking animalistic like that as well but i mean in situations we need sweetness we need love there we need you know we need affection there you know so in these situations it is something where you have to develop a game plan where arguing is not going to help your situation complaining about the faults of the other person is not going to help your situation if anything you're putting negative energy in your situation you know and it's slowing down whatever work that you plan on doing that's why I always instruct my customers do not argue with the person because the thing is if you're trying to do some work on a situation that arguing is going to slow your work down or postpone it so when you're talking about enhancement cases you want to deal with the situation that you have at hand as though it is always been going on you don't want to take in, in any form of action where you're distancing yourself from the person itself you know this is trial and error you know what i'm saying i had made that error a long time ago of basically being ghost whatsoever in a situation that is basically active and going on if anything that will hurt your relationship you know so for me i learned through trial and error is that when you're in a relationship with a person whatever it is you know if it's a special person that you're seeing you have to remain in the situation, but when you're in the situation, you have to deal with it as though it is any other day. You know, you're here, but the thing is, you are letting the person become the aggressor rather than you becoming the aggressor yourself, trying to ask the person to do things whatsoever. You want to be here, you don't want to pressure the person. Because one thing I realized when you're, you know, when, we, when you're doing love work and you're pressuring the person, it actually creates conflict because the person is not ready yet. You know, there's a lot of people that do, they, they, they get work done and they want to move before the work takes effect. And they wonder why, you know, they're not seeing anything at the moment because their carnal actions are getting in the way of the work taking effect on a person's soul and mind. Now, I'm going to move on into lost love situations but bringing lovers back. Well, I definitely want to say this, you know, whatever your case may be, whatever your situation may be, you have to look at it like this. When a person leaves you, that is basically saying to you they do not want to deal with you, especially if they are on a turn where they're fed up. That is not the best time to contact the person. Especially if they said, do not call me whatsoever, you want to leave that person be. By you contacting that person, that is only aggravating your situation. It is making it worse than what it already is. See, a lot of people don't understand this, is that when you're doing actions, that res you know, those actions can create certain emotions within the person. And now you're working with 
work that is causing that is supposed to create emotions or stimulate emotions from that person now you're bringing your 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 your, your, your negativity in the situation you know or let's just say you're create you're, you're, you're creating situations that is in like infuriating the person these are bad emotions and now if you're trying to get love out of the person you know the thing is when the person's when you're not in the person's space what begins to happen is a thought of you begin to cross their mind Everything about them that they used to memorize about you starts to come into their mind, you know So now when you get the fact that you got work on a situation What happens is that their thoughts begin to connect with these emotions that they're experiencing at the moment So what begins to happen is that damn man, I miss her, you know, or man, I surely miss him you know, so these thoughts start crossing the person's mind. So now they start feeling this this emotion. You know, I mean, I, some people call it the Jones. So now they start feeling this butterfly feeling, like man, they miss you, they miss you. You know, and that, man, I gotta pick up the phone and call the person. You know, or they may send you a text just to start a random conversation. Hey, sometimes people got egos and they'll just send you some random text out of nowhere that doesn't have anything to do with anything, just to make conversation with you. But I got to explain this. When you're doing work on a person, you gotta think about time period. How long have y'all been separated? Like something, let's just say, that has been gone for like, let's just say, about a couple of weeks. You know, you have to examine your situation. Are you on talking terms? Have y'all broken up and are you on talking terms? Because chances are you have a better chance of being successful at your work if you're talking to the person and you've broken up. Now, if you have broke, if you have broken up and it's been on negative terms, let's just say it's been like two weeks or about a couple of weeks or whatever, you know, but you're not on talking terms, the thing is you still have a chance because the thing is, yes, it is more difficult itself because, you know, there's, there's bad emotions there and the time needs to basically heal those emotions in order for that person to basically come back. That forgiveness has to be there, you know, if that person's still sitting on that anger whatsoever, it is impeding you're, it is impeding the process, you know? But I will say this. There is no such thing as a will that can resist the power of the work. See, when a work latches on the person, see, at, at the beginning, they can be occupied with different things. They can be seeing someone. So these things are distracting them. But what begins to happen as the work takes, time, it takes effect, it begins to creep on the relationship. And when it begins to creep on a relationship, it's as though it hits them and now they start feeling all these type of crazy emotions. Now they gotta get in contact with you. But the thing is, if you're constantly calling a person up while they ex specifically told you not to contact them, you're just infuriating them and you're making your situation even worse. I don't care if the person has a restraining order on you. You know, the thing is this, even with a restraining order, you can basically work on that person and make them take that restraining order off or make them violate that restraining order and come back to you. Meaning, if they put a restraining order against you, there's still hope. You know what I'm saying? There's still hope. You know, but at the end of the day, this is something that I say it requires discipline. You know, a lot of people think I'm just going to do the work and all of a sudden, yes, you're going to fall in love with me. No, it doesn't happen like that. There has to be some degree of discipline when you're doing this work discipline to control your mouth discipline to control your actions discipline is resistance resistance to call the person that says they do not want to talk with you and not to call them so I say this you know, this is my view on uh, love enhancement and uh, uh, bringing back lost love or breakup situations. Um, I definitely will eventually make another video on breakup situations on, um, let's just say, your lover has left you for someone and you definitely want to um, bring that lover back. But of course, you gotta basically cause some uh, havoc. But um, other than that, I hope this video was very informative. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. But wait, one more thing about love, about bringing back lovers. I just it just dawned on me is that you have to take consideration of time period. What is worth your time and effort?
you know you have to think if this person has gotten a ghost and you haven't seen him in god knows how long it's been a year or three years think about it do you think it's actually going to happen overnight you know that is something you have to say because for me i know that some work takes longer than others and this could take you who knows Deck, it, could, it could take you months to see the result, but in the same token, you know you gotta know about if that if that is something that's cap that you're capable of doing. Because one, you gotta know if you haven't spoken to that person in a year or two, you gotta know if that person's still alive. That's one thing. You got to know if that person has a means to contact. They still have your number. How will they contact you? You know what I'm saying? So those are very important things that a person has to know before they even plan on doing any type of work to bring back someone that is over six months out of your life you know because it's not going to happen overnight i will definitely tell you that that is something for me i even stay away from, from doing work you know because if a person been out of your life for six months or seven months whatsoever that's going to take a long time for you to see the result and i know most people do not got the patience to sit out to wait for something like that i don't you know, I've been there and done stuff like that, but I don't got the patience for it, and, you know, and I refuse to do work for customers that demand for me to do such type, such type, type work, you know, but um, other than that, this is my true conclusion. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Deuces.